Uh, hey there, welcome back to North White Photographic Workshops. As you uh, know, I've been playing around with this new drone and I'm yet again putting up another video today. It's going to become the daily flight, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'm practicing a lot. And so yesterday I, uh, I took this down to the uh, the beach, as I had mentioned in, in the video I posted yesterday. Um, I'll, I'll link to it up in the top right now. But uh, yeah, I took it down to the beach uh, yesterday in the morning and uh, did this flight. And what was different about this flight uh, was that I had used the um, the horizon stable, the, the horizon steady mode on it today. So you don't see the uh, the wobbling of the horizon as much. Um, of course, you're going to see the horizon tilt when I turn, but you don't see much of that wobble side to side. Anyway, I took the thing out on the dock and I, I set up and I put the goggles on while I was standing up and I realized, wow, this isn't a great idea because you kind of get lost in the in your own world. So I, uh, I sat down before I took off on the flight and that's what I'm doing here. So yeah, I got the horizon stable on <clears throat> and it seemed to work really well. Uh, I really enjoyed it a lot. You know, as you can see, the, the water's like glass and I'm really glad that I was able to keep it relatively level. The uh, thing was is that I was still flying in normal mode and it just wasn't responding the way that I like. Um, you know, I've been flying it now for a few days and I've been getting a little bit more accomplished with it and the goggles. So it just didn't feel like it was doing enough for me. I wasn't getting the speed out of it that I wanted. So I think it was right around here. I stopped, yeah, this little spit of land coming out here. I stopped to uh, switch it into sport mode. Now, uh, I'm not going to go full manual mode yet because that's just going to be way too dangerous right now. But uh, sport mode uh, takes off all of your obstacle avoidance and uh, also allows you a lot more speed. Um, at one point here, I think I've cranked it up to 62 miles an hour. So now I'm in sport mode. And as you can see, I got a little bit more control over things. And it's starting to feel a little bit more responsive and a little faster. So... You know, you'll notice that the flight from now on is a little less sluggish, although I do have to be really careful not to run into myself or run into anything else because, of course, there is no, whoop, there I go, uh, there is no um, obstacle avoidance happening anymore, so I have to be really careful about that. So, yeah, I'm pretty much in uh, almost unbridled mode here, and I'm flying down uh, the beach to the south of me pretty far. Um, we have a lot of really nice beach up here, and uh, and I, I definitely like to fly it, especially on calm days like today when the water's like glass, and uh, it doesn't blow the drone around at all, so you just pretty much have full control over things. So yeah, I'm just trying my proximity stuff, coming in kind of low and swooping down, but I still don't have the confidence to go down between trees or under logs or anything like that, but I'm gaining it. Um, you know, and every time I come around, I gain a little bit more. So, you know, I come in over myself and, uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. I'm just stretching my legs here or stretching my wings, so to speak. And, uh, and having a really great time cause it's beautiful up there. You know, it was such a morning, an incredible morning. And, uh, in fact, an incredible day. I did some flying last night that I might show you a little later, but yeah, you can see I'm coming down a little lower kind of feeling it. You know, uh, in the, the flight that I'll link up above my flight on Presque Isle Island, little Presque Isle Island up in the UP, um, I still had normal mode on, so I still had some obstacle avoidance. So it, w it really wasn't letting me zoom in on the trees like that. Uh, it, was, it was trying to take over and slow me down. So yeah, it's a lot of fun whipping around the corner here. Got to be really careful to look ahead and make sure there's no people walking along the beach. And I was really aware of it while I was out there. I checked out the area really well before, before going up. And, uh, you know, I have my spotter out there as well. So here we come. There I am. Whoosh, that was pretty close flyby. I could feel the, uh, the hair blowing on my head. So yeah, it was a good flight, and then while I was flying around there, I decided to kind of come down and do a little bit of uh, proximity flying, using me as the subject. You know, just kind of using my controls to do this rather than any kind of autonomous function on the drone, which this one does not have, by the way. And I'll zoom back out. You can go from zero to 60 and nothing. It's great. So while I was up here flying around, I... Uh, 
the little town that I live in, uh, Cross Village, Michigan, used to be a, back uh, at the turn of the last century, in the early 1900s was, uh, late 1800s, early 1900s, was a little logging community. And uh, straight down the lake that way is Chicago, a few hundred miles. And what happened was northern Michigan was largely used to rebuild Chicago after the fire. So they did a lot of the logging up here. And Cross Village was one of the little logging centers where they would take the wood out into the lake and float it down and put it onto ships. So there was a big pier built out here years ago. Uh, oh, that was a really nice pass. I like that one a lot. Uh, there was a really there was a really big pier built out here many many years ago that big steamships used to come into and even sailing vessels would come into and and dock and they had to get it out from shore, so they had this big uh, this big pier built out there and I've used it in the past with photography of mine where the parts of the pier were still sticking up from the water. It's a photograph of mine called Pier Ruin that if I can find it I'll I'll overlay it here, but anyway that pier was. Um, over the years, the ice destroyed it, and uh, but anyway, the remnants of it are still underwater there. On really clear days like this, you can see bits of it. And right around here, I caught a glimpse of it down there, and I decided I was going to swing around and have a look. There it is. So there's part of the, the remnants of the old pier out there. And as you can see, as I get closer, you can see some logs in there. And uh, Now, these were big caissons, I think, that were set down for the pier at one time. Um, so yeah, you can see it. And sometimes I've been here with the drone and I can look down and I can see some big fish that like to hang around there. I was looking for them today, but I couldn't see them. But you can see how it almost looks like a big ship sank out there. And uh, it continues on. Um, at some other time I'm gonna, gonna go survey it a little bit more. Uh, but uh, this was an area that I really hadn't seen much of before, so I decided to go back and check it out. You can't normally see things like this when the water is so, so uh, when the waves are happening and when the water so so term are so uh, um, are so uh, tumultuous and so uh, turbulent. So today was really like glass. And you can see another one here. Here's another old case on set up under the underneath there. Really interesting stuff. Now this jerky motion that you'll see a couple of them was because I had, uh, was switching out of, um, what do you call it, switching out of uh, sport mode and going back into normal mode. So yeah, now I think I'm going to bring it on back in and, uh, you know, that was it for another flight, but, you know, this one stood out for me as this was my first sport mode flight, so I uh, thought I'd share it with you here. I'm getting better and I, I thought I'd keep putting up these videos just to, you know, bring you along on my progress as I'm doing it. And for any of you that are maybe following along and doing your own flights or learning these drones yourself, maybe it'll help out a little bit. So yeah, I really, uh, really enjoy it and I thank you for coming back and having a look with me and uh, spending some more time with me and I hope you'll come back for more. Uh, please hit the thumbs up if you liked it. and. Subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe tell a friend. Things are getting, uh, getting more people all the time. And I'm really uh, enjoying doing this. So thanks a lot for your time.